gentlemen, we are ready for the first semi-final fight. Making his way to the blue corner, hailing from Auckland, Ronnie Slyman Sifu! And making his way to the red corner, from Invercargill, his opponent, Hiriwa Tirangi! Tirangi, 28 years of age, 6 foot 4, 2 inches taller than Ronnie Seppo. He's now at 16 KOs, 32 wins. In the blue corner, he hails from Auckland, weighing in at 102 kilograms. He stands six feet two inches tall. Now with a fight record of 18 victories, four defeats, with 11 wins by way of KO, Ronnie Sliman Sifu. Facing him in the red corner, he hails from Invercargill, weighing 115 kilograms, standing 6 feet 4 inches tall, now with a fight record of 32 victories, 8 defeats, with 16 big wins by way of KO, Hiriwa, the destroyer You can see Dean Lonergan, he's no stranger to the ring. And Robert Rakit here, Oscar Kitely and Lynette Forday from the panel. All here enjoying the fight.
one, three three-minute rounds. This is expected to go. This is the first semi-final. Hiroa Tirangi, a very strong leg kicker. Very, very powerful fighter, Hiroa Tirangi. Look to see this fight go the distance. Ronnie's older brother, Ray Sefor, beat Hiroa Tirangi a few years ago. But this guy's gone from strength to strength, and he's looking in better shape than I've ever seen it. Ronnie needs to settle down. If he's, if he's going to do well in this fight, he needs to settle down and just play his distance. These two are actually probably the stronger of the semi-finals. Both of them have the ability. Hiroa Tarangi looking very strong with that right leg of his. There we go, Ronnie's not holding back on this one. Both of them will, won't hold back. You know that Hiroa Tarangi is a strong battler. And so is Ronnie Seppel. He won't take this line down. I've seen Hiroa in so many different fights, and the guy is, he'll keep going till the end. Haven't seen Ronnie as sharp like this for quite a while. He wants this final. He wants this whole competition. That's right. Ronnie Seppo looking very sharp. He just needs to calm down a little. Pick his shots a little better. Hiroa is a very durable fighter. There you go. The leg kicks are what have taken its toll on Hiroa in the past. He doesn't like them. And then we see Ronnie kicking low, then going up top. There we go, nice uppercut. Just glancing a little bit. As I say, I picked this as the, the number one semi-final. Some big punches being thrown in there. Hiroa Tarangi is a very, very strong man. Ronnie cannot afford to walk in with his hands down. And remembering, is he is the New Zealand heavyweight cage fighting champion. So the guy is a fighter. Nice left by Seppo. He caught Tarangi. He caught him by the chin, but he's just glancing. He's all right. Hiroa is very much the showman. Bit of experience there, not showing that he's hurt. He can box. He's had a number of boxing fights as well. Just notice a cut there on Hiroa's front shin. A bit of those low kicks taking in this toll. A little bit of blood. Ronnie has to be careful because, as you know, they get too close. Those flying back fists come at you. And we look at both fighters are now sporting cuts on their shins. Ronnie Sefo's right leg as well. Just got to pick his shots a little later. The strange thing about this sport, it's a real gladiator sport, but the guys are gentlemen. They're not out to kill each other, they're out to fight. That's what they're here for. End of round one. Very, very interesting fight. Ronnie Seppo still dominating. Just getting a little bit too loose with his hands. Hiroa Tarangi fighting back very hard with those leg kicks of his. It's actually the most aggressive I've seen Ronnie in quite a while, particularly in the first round. He's, he's just taken the fight to him. And we just see there the head kick coming. Hiroa saying, no, that didn't hurt me. Come on, bring it on. And Ronnie Sefo obliging. They're at the stage now. These are two great gladiators. They're tough guys. They're fit. They've trained hard for this. Both of them. Desperate for this victory, the, doc, the doctor will be checking the shins of both fighters to see how the blood is. Ronnie Seppo sporting quite a nasty cut on his right leg. It is his back leg, it's his main kicking leg. Look, look to see him coming out this round, using his hands a lot more. He's relaxed, as is Tudangi. Referee Terry Hill. Neil Walker here with you at ASB Stadium in Auckland. Tier 1 New Zealand, my co-commentator, Mike Ango, World Cruiserweight Champion. You see Hitter opening up yet again with his right leg kicks. This is where they want it. They want to assert their dominance right now. Ronnie's getting angry. You don't see him get like that too often. He wants it. This man is fired up. He thinks it's this year, it's his year. They've both got a number of weapons to their arsenal. And Ronnie can hit with the best of them. Hiroa Tarangi, I've seen him in the past. When he's getting hit, he closes up shop. Today, he's fighting back. He 
He's slowed down a little bit now. I don't know if he's just playing possum for a little bit and waiting for Seffel to, to blow out a little bit. Ronnie's just got to look to pick his shots there on the inside. No wasted punches. I think Hedewa is just waiting for it. I think he's fine. He doesn't want to be hit with too many, though. But what you don't want, Ronnie doesn't want to blow it out at this stage of the fight because he's just going to be exhausted to continue on. Hedewa is renowned for his ability to take punishment. And there you see he's still sliding in those leg kicks. One, he two. is actually looking a little bit tight. That was an account. That was a mistake. I don't know if he's just trying to tire Seffel, but he doesn't want to take too many hits in doing so. He's still fighting back. He's still throwing punches on the inside. Look at the way he just continues to take punches. This is classic Hidua. Ronnie Seffo just needing to back off, pick his shots a little more so he doesn't get caught on the inside by some of those wild punches. Both of them are breathing heavily, but remember, they've also, both of them had one fight already. That's right. Hidua sporting a cut on his right leg as well now. Doesn't get easier. And Hidua coming back with the left leg. Looking very, very weary, both of these fighters. Hidua's just going in and taking the hits. Fortunately, they're both feeling it. Ronnie needs to look for the left hook. Come up high. Hidua's right hand's dropping very, very low. Oh, he's oh, tired. He's looking very tired. He's tired. Now, now you see Terry Hill should at this point, because it took so long to get up, even on a... It's a very dubious call, in fact. Possibly should have looked at an eight count there. Those body shots are really starting to take their toll. I think that's where it's happening. It's not to the head, it's to the body that Hidua is really feeling it. And those body hits are exhausting. And you can see how he can take the punches and then comes back with a knee. But he's not going to be able to last too much longer. If Ronnie Seppo can knock him down, Hiroa Tarangi was going to struggle to get up. That's all he needs to do. End, End of round, round two. two. Ronnie Seppo dominant. Both of them are sporting cuts to their shins. In fact, Hiroa Hiroa has two cuts. Hiroa Hiroa cut on both legs there, not looking well if he moves on in this fight. Ronnie Seppo is obviously listening to instructions from his corner just to use the punches and spare the legs. The water is also a good thing because it sort of revives you when you've got cold water on your head. This revives you a little bit. But Ronnie Seppor putting in a lot of, lot of work. A lot of hard work going in there from Ronnie Seppo. See how tenacious Tito Hedo is, he just keeps going. Very, very durable man. This is where it's going to make the difference. On this third round, both these fighters are exhausted. Both have taken and given a lot of punishment. And there's Sefo's cut. You see the cut on Ronnie Sefo's right leg. You see, that could stop the fight. You have to consider that that's, that could stop the fight at any time if the doctor deems the cut too serious. Both of these fighters sporting very, very nasty cuts. Final round! Whoever exerts dominance straight away, I think it's going to be difficult for the other to come back right now, although Sefal seems to be a lot stronger and he hasn't taken as much punishment. There we see from Hirua that step up front kick once again. He's caught a few people with that. It's quite a surprising kick. Slip to see him throw actually a couple of spinning back kicks. He tends to do that when he's tired. Oh. Both of them have some bruising to the leg and to the body. That's it. Oh, Hedora catching him with the right hand there. Good uppercut. Big uppercut. And there he so goes he's again. He's coming back now. You, you don't know if he was just playing possum in the last... or if it's a last-ditch effort now. Ronnie Sifo cannot afford to let him get his spirits up. Hedora is a confidence fighter. If he's confident, he's going to come forward. He caught him a good one. Overhand right. He's catching him again. But he'll last the distance. That was a slip. But it depends, you see, once again, on how long it takes him to get up. Quickly. He's having a rest. And he's receiving no, the a count referee now. is calling the count. Took too long to get up. Oh, on a slip like that, six, you've got to get straight back seven, up. Eight. Now, this is going to count against him. This is where he could be dangerous, because he might come back now. He's got nothing to lose. 
He needs to just one good hit to catch, and Sefon at this stage has to be very careful. Sefon is looking very, very fatigued himself at this point. The toll of fighting such a big man is really starting to tell. And there goes that big uppercut again. That's all he needs once in a while to catch, and it's going to be difficult for Sefon to take. And we've already seen it only takes one shot in this K1 to put a fighter out of contention. You can imagine how these guys are going to feel going into the final round. They really have to go back and revive. Oh, and then we see that spinning back. There's a bit of desperation coming in. Still very dangerous, however. I knew he'd do it. I knew he'd, having spent a lot of time with Ronnie in training, I knew he was going to go and do the same thing back to Hiro. Tirangi resting. As is Seth. Tirangi looking very, very fatigued. Sefo wanting to go back to that body. You can't help but admire these fighters. Win or lose, they've put in a big effort tonight. Oh, and there we see another vicious leg kick. And remember, it's not just one fight. These guys are fighting against the guy who beat their last opponent. It's tough. And unfortunately, at this stage of the fight, because you're so fatigued, you can't always even see the openings. Both of these guys can go down at this point in time. If there's a big shot that's caught, we could put to see some. And there we see Hiroa Tarangi once again slipping over. So tired that he's having trouble regaining his feet. And there it is, the end of three. It will go to the judges now. You see, what you really want when you're in these eight-man competitions is to be able to go and knock your opponent out in the first round. The sooner you can do that, obviously, the fresher you're going to be for the final. Absolutely. And we've seen both fighters sustain tremendous damage. Although Ronnie Seppo is likely to go through, he, he edged out in the second and third round. He sustained some tremendous damage from Hiro Tarangi's right leg pack. Got to watch those shins as well. Any split, the doctor deems it big enough to stop the fight or to stop them fighting again, and he will. And there we see Hiro catching Ronnie with the uppercut on the way inside once again. And Hedaway is a, is a night. I mean, most of all of these guys, you spend time with them, they're good guys. They're here for the sport, they love the sport, but it's such a difficult task to get into the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Your winner in the blue corner, Ronnie Sifu. Ronnie once again has made it through. To the final of New and Zealand K1. For his opponent, Hediwa, the destroyer of What a performance from the New Zealand cage fighting champ. He really took Ronnie Seppo to task. Of course, you're going to be a little bit disappointed. Ronnie Seppo now through to the final of K1 New Zealand.